2013 J to the W in your company alongside Devon Matthews. We are ready to go. A fantastic program carded. Uh, so much happening in and around the country. Uh, the Tobago elections, it's all over. And by now you heard the result. And I'm telling you, just in time for the carnival, there's a new. Just in time for the carnival, my friends, there is a new rum being launched in Tobago. It's called uh, 12-0 Gold. Yeah, um, that, is, that is on its way. It's a premium, premium rum and it's served without ice. Burns going down. So that's interesting right there. Um, we don't really deal with the politics here, so we move on to the art form and the music. The Soka Monarch Finals, the list came out today. And I, I listen, I am ecstatic. I'm so happy not only for myself and Blaze and all the other finalists. I'm extremely happy this year for my good friend I'm going to go across to now, Devon Matthews, getting his first taste of the Soka Monarch final stage. Devon, Devon finally, but listen. Yeah, Roy. Devon, if they didn't put you in daddy, I would, I would not lie. Uh, we'd, have put us, uh, we'd have put your face up my bag when things, you know, Devon. Boy. I know I said, what I do. This man in I had a plan B already, you know. I had a plan well, B, but that's serious plan. Devon Barrel, happy for us. Well done, Bridget. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. And again, thanks everyone who are supported as well, Jay, because I know it was a, a hard road, but I had somebody just saw my persistence, you know, we were focused on the goal. So yeah. we, we get it now, so. I was going to tell Bagwan Singh, listen, hide, hide all your rope. Hide all your rope. Nah, boy. But Devon, so, so yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Nah, Devon, sure. trust me. We spoke today on the phone. You're gonna get a great taste, and um, it is what it is. The carnival is in the air. Some major parties on this weekend too, so we'll keep in the loop. But I got some great news before we head to the break, my friends. We come back with the much anticipated uh, sit down and touch base with the I can safely say, uh, you know, the royal couple of, of soca music. My good friends, I'm happy they're here with me this evening as we spend the hour with them to touch base, and get the inside scoop. Fian and Bungie Garland, Fian Lyons and Bungie with us here tonight, Synergy TV, Synergy Nights, on this year Tuesday. We come back, Jay, Devon, we pump in, boy, we pump in, let's go.
Soka Monarch 2013, the only event that promotes Soka tourism, where Trinidad and Tobago nationals benefit from increased employment. Foreigners love this event. Soka Monarch 2013, the most anticipated event on the calendar. The most televised Soka event. The Playway International Power Soka Monarch. The Digicel International Groovy Soka Monarch. And the NLC League Tribute to the Classics. One night, fantastic Friday night. One venue. The Paisley Crawford Stadium. One hit. Michelle Montano. Two titles. This is the final showdown. The final countdown to the People Show. This is the big one. The grand final. The Soka superstars of TNT are ready. The Soka stars of the region are ready. The Soka stars of the world are ready. Come with your crews and see them rise to the challenge and present to you. Must see performances after months of preparation in this major epic battle for the crown. Come for the fireworks. Come for the pump and pageantry. Come see the Hollywood stars. Come for the massive giveaways. Come for the party and celebration. This is Soka Monarch 2013. The People's Event. Friday, January 25th. Friday, the Ladies Night Out, 10th Anniversary Mega Concert. This is Brian McKnight. Ladies Night Out, the largest ladies event in the world. And ladies, I will be there. Ladies, start getting your crew ready for the largest gathering of women in the world. This is your life. Bunch of girl in Salem family. We are going to be there. Hey, hey. Nadia Batson, we're going to be there live. This is your girl, Denise. Sats, you are Belton. You want me to roll it slow. Night Out, National Stadium, Friday, January 25th. We're bringing out all the ladies. We don't stop it. Ladies from the East and West, from Tobago. We don't, we don't stop it. Ladies from the North and South, the Caribbean. We don't stop it. Ladies from the USA and the rest of the world. We, stop it. we advise you to get your tickets early at regular outlets across the country. For more info, call 628-9158. Kindly sponsored by Wido Caribbean. Be mobile. Coca-Cola. NLCB. Monster Energy Drink. Blue Waters. CTV. And CT105 FM. Everybody in Trinidad want to know If I want George will be in concert for two Carnival Wednesday. The 6th of February. They keep asking me. So let me tell them, tell them, tell them. I say Marshall is Monday. George in concert on Wednesday, February 6th at the Queen's Park, Savannah. Free drinks and coolers allowed. Tickets at Caches Nationwide. Log on to TicketFederation.com. From boom boom time to this time. Time, 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 time. Education is my passion. At CTS College, I found a team that was just as passionate about quality education as I was. CTS College inspired me to follow my dreams. I graduated with a first-class honors degree and progressed to my master's at CTS College. Because of the education I got at CTS College, I was able to hold senior positions in the industry. And today, I am fulfilling my dreams of being a lecturer. CTS College is not just part of my life, but a part of my past, my present, and my future. Thank you, CTS College. in Trinidad and Tobago. From Hollywood, USA, writer of several television series. He has been in his own Comedy Central and Def Jam Comedy Specials and actor of hit movies such as Speed 2, Deliver Us from Eva, and more. Comedy movie star Royal Watkins is coming for the first time to TNT for the grand opening of the annual World Laugh Festival, Reloaded, on Friday, 15th February, Jean Pierre Complex. Then, the annual World Laugh Festival hosts an exclusive and intimate performance up close and personal on Saturday 16th at the luxurious air-conditioned Creative Arts Center, San Fernando. And Sunday 17th February at the Signal Hill Composite School. Friday 22nd February, Samar Entertainment Center, Pinal. Saturday 23rd February, Napa Rima Bowl. And Sunday 24th February, Center of Excellence, Makoya. You must see Hollywood comedy movie star and actor from Speed 2 and deliver us from Eva, Royal Watkins, in the grand opening of the annual World Laugh Festival, Reloaded. 
the biggest and safest threat in Carnival, Army Threat 2013. The regional forces are coming. Say I'm the Bungie problem child. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ready for what? I'm ready for Army Threat. Yes, that is the safest threat in Carnival, you know. Granny, you ready going Army Threat? Mm-hmm. And all you gonna be there? Yes. You and Faye and all you must bring asylum, yes. Ooh, and I hear Roy Cave, you go bring black, so. And that workless boy Cassie he go be there with his band, and ooh, Destra go be there. Yeah, Destra call my name, Granny! Oh, and, and I also hear that saucy girl go be there. That's a girl, you know. That's a song. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick. Bungie? What, what? A stick. Granny, all right? You sure you're gonna make it? Yes, child, I all right. Girl, I rubbing these knees on the back of them since last week for army fat, you know. Hey, say, I hear your father go be there. That is true? Yes. So oh, probably must be there. God, I'm ready to bounce. I'm ready to bounce. Problem, child, you is my dad. Dance, 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 yeah. I hit the floor, cause that's my plans, 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 plans. Yeah. I'm wearing all my favorite brands, 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 brands. Yeah. Give me some space for both my hands, 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 hands. You, yeah, you, yeah. cause it goes on and on and on. And it goes on. When you talk about power couples, we have them in the studio, my friends. Between them, numerous titles. Um, songs and a catalog that, that is second to none and by all means 2013 another year most relevant in the carnival it's a pleasure and a treasure to have them back with us on the set and we go straight till nine uninterrupted we might just do just one commercial break in between but let's give a warm welcome and a happy new year and happy carnival to Fian Lyons Alvarez and Ian Antonio Alvarez the bungee gun Welcome, guys. Thank you. Fantastic, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. I want to find out, firstly, about the new year. What did you all do to break in and bring in 2013? Ooh. Was it a work in uh, 2013 or was it no, a home? No, it was relaxed. We went up, went up Arima by Mom's, mm -hmm. Mount Pleasant. We went on the hill, chill a little bit. Um, eat sweet bread. Eat sweet bread. Yeah. Carry up the family. And Fireworks family. at 12? We, we get up this time. We didn't get a booze in front of himself, so we had to watch. We good thing we was on top of the hill. Yeah, yeah. So we get to see from all the way up Grandy or probably Tamana. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, I can remember we were on top close to Calgary, yeah, yeah. straight across back to Port of Spain. Is this the is this the norm, uh, or, or was it one of the New Year's early signs? Here yeah, was going on. No work this year. Let's just take it down. Um. But we normally cover his one. Yeah, no, so yeah, yeah. Not only is that norm. Because you work. But already work for for New Year's, right? No, we work New Year's night, not only as to New Year's. Yeah. Not all years, yes. Yeah, because that night had the big fet in, was it Sandy Grandi? Sandy Grandi, Soccer Fet. Soccer Fet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but right. the actual, at 12, no, is a family affair. Family, yeah. Always, yeah. always, yeah. Good vibes, good yeah, vibes. Yeah. As it relates to, to baby young one, how's she going? Oh, she's fabulous. Yeah, we need to it. Oh, no, I'm Yeah, of course, of course. I haven't seen, I mean, I, I am so proud of this child. She's, she's a darling. Any, any, any indication that she... Is when it leading towards the art form? She, 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 mm. felt a note. I'm sure she got more of a singer. Gotta be kidding me, girl. Be a scholar or what? <laughs> that's, that, that is a beautiful big boy. She's about what? Three by now? She'll be four next month. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, 2000, yeah 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, four. Yeah. Oh, February, what again? 20. 28th. Mm -hmm. As it relates to. Your deco. I follow you guys on Instagram, and I recognize that uh, you know, every now and then you might put up, put up a little pic. The deco is amazing. Who's actually responsible for the deco? Yeah, that's all yours. Yes, There's I a room you say don't use at all. That's the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's just a room that. A kind of black and white room. Yes. Yes. Nobody sits there. Nobody sits there. That's the you know a long time you know, yeah, long, yeah. Granny had a room. Yeah. Where she used to put the um, she used to put the, the plastic on the chairs. And those chairs you're not allowed to sit on. Fee, there's always a room on wears. Sitting wears. You, you, you yes. wears there in a buffet for years. You never eat <laughs> a grain of rice. Yeah. It's just I always don't have there. Wears, but I have the chairs. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That room is special. I know you all moved a lot over the years. Um, is this present scenario? This is it. You're comfortable there. This is what. This this is home. Yes, um, the move was made because the commute to the school that I wanted to get my daughter in would have been very harsh on her to go from Central or South or Rima. So from where we are in Marvel, it's easier to just go from right there. It takes you like 10, 15 minutes if 
traffic permits. Well, I mean, you don't say Maraval, you know. know. Maraval is different, you know. If the yeah. traffic permits. Yeah. But it's easier to come in because you don't want to wake a, 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 a two, three-year-old up mm. five o'clock in the morning to reach the school for eight o'clock. It's, it's hard. In terms of the commute, are there times you sometimes decide to go the long road, long road, go through Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz, we actually contemplated that. Seriously, we yeah. actually contemplated that. Because sometimes the traffic gets so unbearable. By the time you reach by the gas station, you're like, yeah. all right, should we go back? Should we go forward? Should we stay? Well, let me tell you all, the night I saw you when I saw you all, I was first time in San Juan, so I'm making the Santa Cruz drive. And... Um, it was raining that night, remember that night? Yes, had it rain. was, it was. And if you see the size of the snake on the pavement in Santa Cruz. You didn't take a pic? When I, when I pull back, though, like the snake, the snake dive out, though, like it was about to come off the pavement, I, just, I was taken aback. Wow. I said, wow, boy. So, I guess, you know, you have these elements, but... <laughs> I've read my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the commute, man. I want to take it now to the music, uh, 2013, another amazing year. I mean, the relevance, um, second to none, for years very consistent mainstays uh, in the business, um, residual value with your names. And obviously that's something that you all worked on for years. 2013, a really breakout year. Um, again for Gallen, and we'll get to that in a minute. But as it relates to your music, Faye, uh, who were some of the producers you went to tell us about? Take us through the, the particular songs. Well, Peter Coppin did the Island Mass with him. Um, that's the one that Blacks is on, I am on, Alison Hines, Edwin Yearwood. Um, 758, very good friends of mine, they did the rhythm that I'm on with Edwin Yearwood, that's a remix mm. to Edwin Yearwood's song, mm. um, Fire Empress um, music, well, as you know, she is St. Vincent, yeah. Road March and everything like that, so that was done, I think, by um, Slaughter Arts, mm. yes, Slaughter Arts, that's correct, and I did the remix version mm. at the studio, so um, we collaborated on that, but the bulk of my music in terms of the stage and formula and, and effing, was done by Mr. Neil Bernard. I want to I wanna talk to you about that particular formula. Um, for those who don't know, if you don't know, I'll tell you, you write your music. Yes. And, and lots of people, you know, just sit down and always baffled by your particular formula, the writing skill, the way you're able to adjust and change up your lyrics to get the same reaction. Well, what's your process though? I mean, obviously, you can't give us the full secret, but where, where, where is, um, where do you find yourself writing? Where's that space when you actually sit down to write? I write anytime, any, anytime. One o'clock in the morning, two o'clock, um, during the day. Um, anytime I get a vibe, I write, or I um, basically, like, I make voice notes on the phone. So if I get your phone again, some tunes there for next year, though. Again, some yeah, look at our phone, boy. <laughs> All right. No, so I, try to, I try to, because sometimes I get so many different melodies, it's hard for me to remember all of them. Mm. So I, I just do a quick voice note, you know, like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something. Yeah. And then, you know, you, sometimes you put two voice notes together and you have a whole song. So it, it, that, that process is like that. Excellent. I want to take it across to Gallen. And, of course, notably, differentology. I know we had a nice little conversation at Mooka. Um, you said you had the sun now raising up. That's all you had initially. Yeah. And then the rest came about. Give us the history behind that song because that is yeah. one of the minus theme the songs. The call, right? Yeah, you are minus the call. Yeah, minus, minus, minus the call. But that is one of the theme songs of Carnival. That is the song track to Carnival 2015. Yeah. Um, I, I think the, the, I like um, Cosmic Shifts. I, I always look at it. It's have a way that when it happens, it just it, it sets the, you know, sets stages for other things to come. Uh, she studied law, so I, I dropped her off because of the way it had to part there. So I just dropped off and keep the feature. But of course, he's still by black eyes. Sherry's a little bit chilling. Sherry is a little bit of 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 a little bit and I just keep humming, went home, next day came back with all the lyrics, and that was it. Excellent. It was one of them, like a stars, like the stars aligned kind of song, mm -hmm. and we couldn't force it, we couldn't fight it, it was just to go with it. Would you say, Ranjiri, in your career, this is one of the biggest, yes. I mean, in terms of connecting with the people? Yeah, and, and yeah, the reaction? yeah, yes, yes, I will make no disagreement with that, mm -hmm. none at all. Um, uh, I'm happy, to, happy to, to see it, happy that something like that could happen to me, and um, 
you know, and, and at this point, I would like to say, you know, congratulations to whoever it happens to next year because, you know, it's like it shifts from one person to the next. It, everyone gets a chance with it. Yeah. You know, and, and that's how music is. Music is not selfish. It chooses its own vessel to deliver the message that it wants to. Mm. Yeah. Now, interesting because, I mean, to me, two songs, I mean, lots of great songs, Groovies, Powers, but two of the songs that really. When you look at 2013 as the soundtrack of 2013, your dad, oh, yes. uh, Fantastic Friday, stars. and Differentology. And, you know, moving around, girl, and talking to people, especially after the happenings of last week, you know, some of the fans, they, they are a bit disappointed, yeah, girl. Yeah. You know, I mean, let's, let's, I mean, we've been really here this, mm -hmm. this evening mm -hmm. that obviously are not part of the groovy because most people are saying that, you know, that it was like a foregone conclusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, tell us, I mean, whose decision really, at what point that decision was made? Give us the, the story there as it relates to that Suka Monarch experience. Yeah, the, decision, the decision was more or less a collective decision. Myself, Fairlands, um, uh, Mr. Patton, and legal team, of course, right? Um, the draw was the Wednesday. Can remember the date? Yeah. But upon when you draw for the semi finals, you get your package with your contract, right? Um, so when we, we received the contract, we open it and while go through before signing, which every artist should do, we get a contract, read and understand your contract. If you don't understand it, get someone to help you understand it before you sign off. Because you can be signing to anything if you just blind sign. Um, what if somebody assumes you had with that contract? Well, 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 first of all, well, when we look at it, one of the things is my thing that I always had a problem with from day one, number one, the 5%. I always had a problem with that. Mm -hmm. right? Because it's not to say like we go going into arrangement as, as two promoters, two up, two to promoting entities, you are the promoter, you put it on the event, I come to compete. Um, as I, I really had a problem with this. Why after I win my winnings, you want to take back 5%? Mm. Why you don't just make the prize minus 5% up front? You've given this person 5% and now it's a kind of belittling situation like, all right, give me back 5% now. But let's say, let's say, okay, in, like in the case when uh, Fee won 2000 and... But that was right. the start of it. Right, that was, really <laughs> that was the start yes, of it. I was and actually... that was a million dollars for Groovy and yeah. 500,000 yeah. for. No, a million no. for Power. 500,000 for Groovy. No. Well, it was, it was, it was 100 and something. 100 and something? Yes. Yeah, plus, yeah, right, yeah. Right, but let's say let's say a million or 200,000 or whatever yes. the case. Um, 5% of a million is like 50,000. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, some might say that's a drop in the ocean, really. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But, um, sorry to interject, yeah, but one of the it. things people need to understand is. Um, you can't look at figures, you don't look at principle. Not because I can take something from you means I should. If it's not necessary, then why do it? I, if you check back to the, news, the newspaper article 2009, I, w I was basically saying, why don't you take the money out from in front so when somebody gets what they get, they know what that figure is. That's it, that's a whole figure. Because it, it's, it does something to, to the artist's psyche. To, they don't see that 5% as a... You know, a lot of the artists, will, they'll give it back, you know, because they don't want to rock the boat. But I'm telling you, if you do a general consensus where everybody was free to say what they wanted, almost all the artists are, would not want to give back the 5%. Because, I mean, it's, 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 somewhat, it's somewhat demeaning to take that after. Take it out, and if it's one hundred and forty-three thousand nine hundred and sixty-three dollars and twenty-seven cents, then so be it. Mm -hmm. So you know when you do your presentation on your budget, that's what you're getting. Yeah. You, you minus the, your your expenses from what it is you make on the night, and that's what you're getting. You know, um, yeah, I, I don't remember you was asking when you say some of the other things. Remember, there are other things like if, if, it, if it, um, you don't you defend win. the next year, if you win and you don't defend the next year, um, Free you'll, performance. Be, you'll be penalized ninety percent. I mean, if you want to execute a penalty, okay, fine. Um, you want to execute 90 percent, and unless it's a case where the artist die, or death. be on natural disaster, yeah. uh, natural disaster or death. Uh, but God forbid, suppose one of the artists, um, you know, they get some sickness or ailment or something, and something that they want to keep to themselves and family. They don't want the public to know what they, they, they get. Um, it's since it's a mitigating situation, um, that means this other entity now. Will basically have to come and do the investigation to see if you're really akin sick, if you're really sick, mm -hmm. even though you might give them a doctor. Because yeah, it's a legal, legally, this, binding it's like a legally binding contract. Legally binding contract. And therefore, now, this other entity, now, now of your private situation, now, 
mm. as well besides your family. Mm. And then there's no telling who else is going to find out beyond them as well. Mm. Um, so I didn't, I find that, that we, we find that we, we should, we don't agree with that. Um, therefore, we didn't sign. Um, um, if you win and in the year of your reign, they decide to put on an event, you have to come and do that particular event for free. If no there's time. no date or time in the contract, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, they, you are basically at their mercy, mm -hmm. right? Now, the whole thing about it is that when we did our decision, it was never to put any dispute against the foundation or we never rallied all the artists and said, no, no, they don't sign. It was our will and right to choose not to go through with this, mm -hmm. right? And, and the reason, we did uh, and we did notify them. And the thing is, I, I, despite it, I mean, we're gonna because as everything else, um, there's something actually I saved here because I saw an email, very interesting email that actually was backing your point. Um, I don't know if you all, let's see if I find it here. Yeah? I'll, 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 I'll show you. It was from somebody. I got an email. Um, I think earlier this week mm -hmm. uh, about the whole scenario. Right. But the thing is, guys, and. Faye could testify when we were actually were, were in Antigua last year, we had a nice debate. I can't remember what the topic was. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of a constructive debate, I said I'm in a position to Faye and, and Yalen where I come from that place too. I, I have experienced what Sokamona, Kama being on that stage, yeah. um, can bring and what can deliver. Yeah. And as it relates to, I guess, in terms of asking people to defend, from my history, Nobody's from, from a host, three people who won over the years, never show up, you know. No. Firstly, Ronnie McIntosh started it. Yeah. Kurt Allen did it also in 99. Ronnie did it in the 90s. Kurt did it. And thirdly, Shadow yes. never defended. Mm. So three people over the yeah. years never defended. And I guess to the organizers or to anybody doing a competition, because even if we do a competition, it, it, it is, I guess, expected that somebody comes out to defend, pass over the crown at least, or defend the crown. Yeah. As it relates to, I agree to it with your point. At the end of the day, you could take out the five percent in advance, mm -hmm. but to me, I found the five percent really was not of a major issue to me. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm just thinking about is the night itself, Fantastic Friday. It has done so much, especially for you too. And I know that you all look forward to that night because I look at your performances over the years from the mm -hmm. year that Fee and the service. So, yeah. You set yourself on fire, but I remember your nose <laughs> and the front party. Yeah. Your yeah. nose pink. I said, you're yeah. 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 in. So I know, I, I know something you all, you are right. you're, you're, you all look you're, forward to. You're 100% yeah. right. Yeah. And I just thinking like the fans though, because people, I, I believe this year especially, yeah, like, yeah. based on all the things set up, yeah. people really wanted a different anthology. Right. On Fantastic Friday. Right. Yes. And I want to say something. Sorry, not cutting. I, I, I think I want to say something there as well. Um, I think all this happened, um, it all this happened to show, basically, for a lot of, a lot of the musicians in the business to, to, to realize that if we have to be serious about what we do and to be very careful and be attentive of what we do as well. Mm -hmm. Because normally, because some of the other artists that call, they say, um, well, why? and when I explain why we don't want any contracts, some of them say, Oh gosh, I didn't know it was all that. I didn't know it was all that. They just signed, mm. you know. And even on, on one another program this morning, one of the attorneys was saying what Fair and Bunchy did was right. You have to read and understand your contract, and and it is your right to choose if you want to go and choose not to go. Exactly. Um, and and the thing about it is, I think that's the point that people are missing. Missing, yeah. People are looking at the contract and not understanding that if so, if you're present, even more than the contract, let's say. We have no problem with the contract, you understand? From from the perspective of CPF has all right to structure their legal document, mm. how they see fit. I reserve the right, however, to sign or not to sign your document. That's it. Mm. If 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 your document contains things that I'm not comfortable with, individual now this is not a this is not a decision for every artist to make mm. as a collective. It's an individual decision. Because guess what? If you win, you're the only person that going to be legally bound to that contract. I cannot help you execute the, 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 the specifications in the contract. You have to do it by yourself. So when all the fans go home and carnival is done and the dust is settled, you are legally bound by a document that is going to have legal ramifications if you do not uphold it. So as much as we understand the fans' perspective, they have to understand that you cannot have artists put um, their, their signature on things that they do not feel comfortable with. 
because of the, the, the excitement of a particular event. We have to be smart, we have to be conscious of our decisions, and we need to execute our rights when possible. And all we're simply saying is, you presented us with a document, we're not asking you to change it, we're not asking you to give us any special favors, we're simply saying we do not agree with it, and we understand the consequences of not agreeing and not signing, and it means we cannot participate in your competition, we respectfully decline your document. I That's just want to add to that real quick. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the, that's the main thing that, to me, I, I think, and to fear as well, um, as much as, yes, the prize is good and the money is good, I didn't think that we wanted to end up being in a situation where become like a paid slave. Because what, you go that night, you're exclusive there that night. If you win, you have to defend the next year. If you win, and that cycle continues until you lose, or unless you want to lose deliberately, which will be unfair to the competition as well. Because your fans are depending on you to give them a good show. They're coming out to support you, to give them strength. Nobody's not coming out to see you halfway win or give half performance just to lose to come out. Mm. That is fair to nobody. So I just take, we just take it from in front and say, no, we won't sign that. But in all fairness, let me ask Leanne here. Yeah. Wasn't there a meeting between you and the organizers where some of your recommenda recommendations... Eight months ago. Yeah, were taken to heart. Eight months. June recommendations based Recommendations based on the exactly. regional people. Why you, just could, why you just didn't meet with them? I met with them eight months ago. Eight months ago, I met with Miss Fitzwilliams, mm. and we met at Vida France, mm. and we met on the 13th, the 11th to the 13th, right? We had a discussion. Now, this was not in favor of us performing or anything like this. This was just her way of reaching out. To better the competition. Yes. yes. That's Because I did that's some research, huh? Eh? Exactly. That's what it was about, for, to find ways and means and what was wrong with the competition, seeing as she had just come on board as a new face and all these things. So we met, I laid out my cards on the table, I told her what I felt personally could have been um, better, what could have been enhanced, what we could have done away with, and that was eight months ago, she sent me an email stating, these are the points, I'm going to take it to Mr. Monroe, we're going to have a discussion on it, and I want you to know this has no bearings on whether or not you perform in the 2013 Sokomona. So which means my, my recommendations to her was unbiased. Nothing in the email says, well, Fian, based on what you asked for yourself and Bungie, mm -hmm. we asked for nothing for ourselves. It was for the artists on a collective yeah. basis. Yeah, based, based, based on the track record, too, and the, the, right. I mean, the track record. Eight it is months, it is. fast forward eight months, I am presented with a contract. Now, Mr. Mono also mentioned that we met at the Hyatt. I did meet at the Hyatt, and we sat down and we discussed Sokomona all that time. We had no plans of entering the competition. He was basically getting feedback on, on what we discussed. And one of the things that was not included in the contract was a $25,000 attachment fee to the exclusivity clause that he's requiring all finalists to sign. Because I explained to him that when you have the, the big name artists, so to speak, and the newcomers, the newcomers who, this is your breakout year, you're trying to maximize your profits, understand? You want to be everywhere and you get in the shows. You cannot have them exclusive on, on a night like Carnival Friday because you're actually taking away the income that they could have been earning at other events. And you're using the prize money that you're putting up as a supplemented income, which is not fair. Only point there, we'll come back and we'll talk about it some more after the break. We told you just like about one pause because <laughs> this year is, 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 is interesting dialogue. It's, it's really about, part, part of it is to do really with the business of the music and we learn as we go along. And we, of course, bring up some more points as it relates to competition. And later on, we go into the legacy, you know, the dynasty. Because that's, to me, where I see yourself, Gallen, and your dad. It's like the new age Sukha dynasty then. That's what they're doing. You ever, you ever study that? Don't know. We come back, we talk. <laughs> Faye, Bungie, Jay, the other one. Synergy sure. Nights, Tuesday. <laughs>
and I'm quite concerned. I mean, I, I, I know that, you know, it, it would have been concerned about, you know, I guess public opinion, and a lot of times people don't really know yeah. um, some of the intricate details. But what I, what I do recall, um, especially over the years, with your first title in 2002, Gallen, back at them again in 2004, Four. 2005, Five. and then 2008, Eight, the fiery, yeah. and then Fian taking a clean sweep in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, so, especially with my experience too, that to me personally, I mean, my, I live my, my life by the watchwords, passion, purpose, payment. Mm -hmm. um, I believe you must have a passion, must have a purpose first, and money will always follow. Um, I do all kind of function all over the place. The biggest paycheck I've, I've ever seen with my name on it was a Sukamona so paycheck. paycheck. And I know that Sukamona... Yes, it, 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 it would have done a lot for you yeah, guys. Exactly, it has. Right. So, so it, it, it baffles me because if the 5% was there from before. Uh, <coughs> so that wouldn't have gone nowhere. The new addition was really the 90% based on, I guess, what the organizers perceive or deem as a disrespect to the competition from people mm -hmm. who... Never come and return. Never come and return. Yes, but it's, they, it's a bit, a bit much. But yeah. the people, the people that that close would have necessarily been really? designed for. Mm -hmm. They no longer in the competition. Well, I guess the and thing they is, have not been for years. But even, even like prize given fee. I mean, I remember prize givens where people. I, I know it had years where we announced the first place when the people not even there no, to get yeah. the exactly. prize. But because you know why they're not expert. But in the, on the, in defense of the artists, people need to understand, right? Carnival is seasonal. This is not something that happens all year. So, an artist booked as much show as they possibly can um, do, humanly possibly do. So, organizers need to understand, especially of, of competitions, need to understand that that is where we need to work together. You cannot have, a, for want of a better word, godlike complex where you are not willing to work in conjunction with the artist's schedule. You understand? Because you saw some of the artists, I've seen them, they do five shows a night. Not because they're greedy, but because that's the nature of the business that you're in. You have to maximize and capitalize on the season and do as much shows as you possibly can. Because a lot of the artists don't travel after carnival. And then there are no carnival events or no carnival oriented events in Trinidad to supplement any form of an income for them. A lot of the artists left their jobs to do this. So you can't fault them for taking five and, and six shows for the evening because you have band members to pay, you have drivers, you have, you have staff, people who, who, who help in road, people, managers, all these different things. Cost of getting outfits for every single fet, you understand? So this is where uh, a, a more proactive ap approach to dealing with the artists has to come into play. We need to work together with the organizers of Sokomona to understand, listen, we, we are half of your show. Well... What I what I what I do understand while well, I do understand what you're saying, I want to ask you on this question, Fa. If you were the organizer, would yeah. you understand and accept what you just said? Most definitely, because guess what? Here's the first thing in business: if you have no customers, you sell nothing. Hmm. You are not going to buy your own product. People open business because they want people to put, to participate. Hmm. And in America, they say the customers always right. I, I can't say in Trinidad because that's yet to be seen. Yeah. You know how our customer relation situation yeah. is here. It's a work in progress. It's a work in it's progress. It's a work in progress. So with the with the, the, the notion that the artists are not begging you, they're actually working with you. Because I've seen artists borrow money to put on a good presentation for Carnival, for, for Sokomona. So if the artists are going that distance to actually say, you know what, let's 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 put on a show. Now the artists would say, you know what, what? I know I'm not going to win. Me go with no props. You understand? I gotta maximize my profits. So here is what you see. I just go in on stage by myself, I go jump, I go wave, I go sing my song, come off the stage. If I come last, I still get a piece of change. Do you want that mentality for your competition? What if all the artists decide? All the artists, that is, who think they do not have a chance at winning, don't go at your competition 100%, and they just go in it for the money. Then what is going to happen to your competition? In a couple of years, nobody's going, to, nobody's going to want to participate. And then you're going to be saying, you know what, I'm paying these artists, so I'm, I'm having a, a competition of this magnitude, promoting professionalism, and these artists are using it as a hustle. Mm. So when you have the artists that are like Bungie Garland, who's willing to burn themselves up on a stage, on a side note. Yeah, yeah, I remember Pink Nose, I remember. You <laughs> too. Exactly. But let's check, I want to bring you back here really quick here, Faye. Let me just take you back to 2008, when Gaton was clearly 
it seemed like it was a foregone conclusion. Your silver surf, I was there. Total devastation in the Queen's Park Oval. Gallon came on a fiery and won. Mm -hmm. I recall Ash Wednesday. Now, people have always entitled to change their mind. We do it all the time. But I recall Ash Wednesday of 2008 on TV6 in a calling interview with yourself and Gallon. You said that, you know what? A good, it's time for new artists to see what 15,000 or 20,000 people like to, to mash up that crowd of that magnitude. What brought that change of mind when it came to the 2009 fans. experience? Fans. Fans. Fans have a huge pull. Fans can bring you to a decision and have you face it, and you're the only person that can actually make that decision become a reality and materialize it. So fans make you aware of where you are in the great scheme of things with respect to your, to your business. It's like you have a business and customers are coming in. But when they come in, you have a little suggestion box and they're like, listen, we would like to see wider aisles. We'd like to see more stocked shelves. We'd like to see a wider variety of product. We'd like to see a higher quality of product. Fans are the customers in my business. And my suggestion box is Facebook and Twitter. So they, they tweet and well, we like to see it back in the Monarch. And that was one of the main reasons why both of us decided to go back. But with getting a contract two days, three days before having to actually perform on stage, I did not deem it wise to sign a contract and then go negotiate the terms. If I did that, my two professors in school would kick me out of the school yeah. because clearly I'm not learning anything. At least, at least they think to me that, that despite, because I, I mean, and again, I, I say Gallen yeah, Boy, I was really looking forward. That to me was one of me my too. highlights. I told you yeah. at, what fact it was Gallen yeah, yeah. Boca. Boca. Boca and Bishops. And Bishops, yes. I said Gallen yeah, foregone conclusion. Yeah. You know, it's, a wrap. Um, it's, it's, it's all over. It is the soundtrack of 2013. Yes. Um, so I was really looking forward to see you there. But <coughs> as it relates to, um, as it relates to, obviously, the whole situation, you're pulled out at the semi-final round, which I still respect based on you didn't go in, get into the finals, and never show up. Because yeah. I don't want to call his name for him to figure and tote, but a big one did that mm -hmm. in 2010. He knew himself. Right. I asked him right here on the red couch yeah. about it. And he, 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 he got his reasons, and he could do your research, and he'll see who. Yeah. So, but the thing is, though, um, I'm just saying that, boy, I... I don't Trust know, me, it bothered him. Did, did, it, the fan, did the fans, are not the fans asking yes, for this now? Yes, contract they are. Contract yes, they are. But here's what, you, here's what you need to understand, right? I don't think any artist in this country has been around Soka Monarch longer than Fair Lions. What it be, because remember my dad yeah, basically started he, with the competition. Yeah, from There's a Soka Monarch tape with my sister Terry and I. We were the two angels when he sang the tribute to Wendy and Kim Sabini, right? Before that... We were participating in Soka Monarch, helping them do all these props and stuff. So I have been around Soka Monarch since I was in my teens. In my teens. For me too, I think I, I, my experience has been different though. On stage, off stage, I've seen behind the scenes. Yeah. And I could, can, can more than anybody else tell you if things have changed backstage or if it has not changed. Because a lot of the artists that are in Soka Monarch now, they came in in the late half, like in the 2000s. I've been backstage with my dad for years when the venues keep moving, the dressing rooms. Mm. I can tell you how it was structured and everything like yeah. that. Plus two, people need to understand my, 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 um, my, my knowledge of Mr. Monroe, not personal knowledge, but knowledge of who he is and what he does. Since I was five years old, my mother sang in the tent. My mother worked for Mr. Monroe years ago. So I've been exposed to the Calypso side of things, and I've been exposed to the Soka side of things, and now I'm actually participating in it. So I don't know Mr. Monroe yesterday. Mr. Monroe knows me yesterday. I know him years. <laughs> Since I was five years old, I know the name William Monroe. And based on that, um, some of your recommendations have them here, um, and they took it into consideration. Please let the people know the date. Yeah, this, 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 this email, I mean, I did my research. This was, as you rightfully said, months ago. Thank you. And... Um, as it relates to people actually they took into consideration some of your recommendations. The whole situation with the foreign artists, they have to go and perform in the semifinals. Yes. That's a must. Um, I'm seeing something here with exclusive limited edition t-shirts, the prize money structure, dressing rooms, which is a concern you just raised, mm -hmm. stage, consul stage consultation, real cell time. So I guess, you know, based on your experience and based on you being through it, you know, they have taken, to, uh, taken some of the considerations. It's just... I guess it's just a situation again. 
we look at the fans and we look at like people saying, boy, you see, these are things people don't really know. But I what people know is that, so come on out night. Right. right. They was they was the fans. Right. They was the bungee. Right. That's it. Like, well, exactly. Right. Yeah. It's have some, it has something I want to add, do. Um, and and there's, a next, there's another piece of document we have, which mm. is like a, like an email response to a second response to uh, all this of the saying where we will take the information to, mm. right? Um, and where the representative then basically responded to face saying yes um, I agree with what you're saying about with, with the contract it shouldn't be so stringent then all these extra things shouldn't be in there in fact the discussion between herself and the, and the uh, representative was you know don't go and look to add no, no new things to the contract it's already tight as it is that's my second you know? point and yesterday they seen that. new the things there one right? here. Yeah. this is where I'm actually Exclusive. Saying. No, this is the, the t-shirt This is the here. different one. They sent you the different. There's, that will get you the second part of that, the actually first part of that email, where it says we should not have the 5% included in the contract. It should either be taken out from in front so that the artists see the prize money as a whole and not as part of what they're getting. Mm. And the second recommendation I was making is that we should not have any new rules implemented. Because one of the things is people need to understand, when you bring new rules into a competition, Right? And you have a forum with some of the artists. They're saying that they, they sat down with the artists and they had a forum. First point, that is misleading. Because when you say you sat down with the artists and you have two artists, like myself and Bungie Garling, that's basically, for want of a better word, in contention of your contract, you're giving people the impression that we were at those said meetings. We were not. Like we were not at any of the meetings that they had when they had those particular was artists. Was an invitation sent? I have no, no idea no, because we were not there. We were already, not participating. No, we participated, so no more you understand? We were not participating. We do not know if those rules were the same rules that they had last year. We knew because some of them were actually very foreign and new to us. The second thing they need to be very careful of, you cannot say to people that you sat with the artists because somebody with a logical thinking might will sit down and say, did you sit with the 400 registered artists or did you select artists to come to, uh, to the meeting? Mm. And then if you selected artists, how were these artists chosen? On what basis? On what grounds? Why, weren't there, why wasn't there a collective meeting with all the artists that registered? Secondly, why didn't you give contracts to people upon registration? So then when you register, you didn't get your contracts, so which means you get your contracts when you are picked from the people that mm. you decide going to the semis. And if that's what you did, then there's no way you could have met with all the artists because if 400 people registered, registration closed in January the, sec the 3rd, which would have meant that you had the meetings in December with the artists before registration had closed. Mm -hmm. So I'm very logic-minded in, in, in how I, I analyze stuff. So they need to be careful what they're saying so as to not um, basically tarnish the integrity of the competition. On a different tip, um, your dad's chances. Everybody's saying super, you know? Well, Hey? The voice of the people is the voice of God, so, <laughs> so I've heard many times. Yeah. And it's, you're going to be, be there tonight to support them? I mean, even though you're not competing, you're going to be there I am not sure. Night. We have contractual obligations from other people that we had put in place before the contract was issued to us. So, so even if we wanted to sign the contract and forego the other, we could not. Based because on? Based on the previous other tokens. Fantastic Friday. Other yes, tokens. Yeah. because we did not think or anticipate they would actually put that as a clause. Seeing as they, 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 they had not informed us that this was going to happen, we had discussed the $25,000 attachment fee for the artists in compensation. It was basically geared not towards the bigger artists that have been working um, hard through the whole carnival, but the new artists that came out that basically would actually not be seen carnival Friday night and not have that extra income coming in carnival Friday night. That is what that was geared for. As it relates to the dynasty, I mean, you'll recognize that that is, in a sense, what you're creating. I mean, it will probably really cement itself if indeed your, your little daughter grab a mic and start to sing. <laughs> she, does she show any kind of, I mean, you yeah, yeah, see yeah, that? I remember, oh, yes. I remember the first, I remember the first time when she came on in Nikki Land when it was at the police barracks. Yes, yes. She, had, she came on and take the mic and was away from the rag. Be square. And she be in B square too. B square. She, she actually, I had to take her off the stage because listen, I am very protective of my career. And when another female comes on stage, <laughs> oh, and starts to ask her oh more than me, I'm like, because I'm looking at her in B square. And I'm like, one, get ready to go. Two, and she looked at me with the microphone. She couldn't speak then. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's like, put in the I was like, okay. I turned to Ian. I said, no child that I'm feeling is going to outdo me on stage. <laughs> we have to speak when we go home. My she word. loves the stage. Indeed. Today, she actually said, Daddy, you sang 
We ready for the road. So she understands. She knows. Yes. She yeah. recognizes what you all do. Yes. 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 She knows. She knows that daddy is singing. Is and mommy is yeah. singing. Yeah. Ever lyrical, she never commit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she don't know the extent of our fame because she still thinks Dora is bigger than us. Dora, Diego, and, and yeah, Timo Mizumi. But she knows she said, look, I, I just saw mommy sing it, I just yes. saw daddy sing it, and sing me song. So we like about number yeah. 67, they don't have famous. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's fantastic. I'll give you all a chance in a few to send your New Year's shouts and your carnival shouts. But I'm just glad um, we, were, we were able to get a perspective yeah. from you guys on the issue. Uh, I mean, I, as I said, you know, we, me and Faye, yeah, and trust me, we always go through our, our constructive <laughs> debates. Um, that's, 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 that's our thing. Yeah, that's our thing. We, yes, we, 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 we could go for hours. Yes, we yes, can. I mean, my experience too, Faye, in our competition, and just me on a personal note, um, has been the same as a teenager, from MC to working it for television, radio, giving results where Gyalin was supposed to win a year and then win, and I get pelt. <laughs> because I think I keep you Gyalin. No, but it's yeah, yeah. 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 a one for the team. Right, yeah. it's a one for the team. Thank you very much, we thank you. You know, um, finalists to winning it. To, to, to doing the groovy, so yes. it's something that, for me, I look at it as, as it relates to soccer, that is a night where, that's like, you, at least I'm happy that I'm able to be on the table with you guys, right. and to share and partake with the meal, and to me that's like the biggest servant, yes. and I personally couldn't really be bothered too much if I had a pie or well, be five behind me, <laughs> <laughs> that to me early yeah, of no yeah, consequence, yeah. but everybody's good friends, yeah. and, and I mean, it's, it's interesting to to get your side of it, and I think I think that people have a clearer perspective as to yeah. why you all decided to come out of the show. Yeah. If you could still be there with your dad any night, uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> you never know, you never yeah, know. Yeah. Bouncing starts. Okay, I'm boy, trust my boy. I think different. I mean, it still remains, <laughs> yeah. regardless, competition or not. Yeah. To me, the song track of Carnival. Man, I, I, I think I think that in itself is an achievement that no yeah. prize could have compensated yeah, for. It is, it so is. I'm very I'm very humbled by that. I'm very thankful for it. Yeah, and people be confused, man, enough to jump. They know to <laughs> win. They know to win. Yeah. <laughs> people just sing it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. No, that's good. Some of them, in, you need a little church in the thing, man. Yeah. That's good, that's good. I see you can knock in a choir, like yeah. you can knock in Bishop's no, like choir. It's long time, it's, I mean, when I say long time, but it's not often you get songs in carnival that the, the whole audience yeah. able to sing the word for. Anyhow, we know time is running out. Go ahead. We would like to say, yes, uh, that's the camera right there. Yeah. You know, um, happy new year to Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we, we can finally get a chance to do that on Synergy TV. Um, happy Carnival um, to all uh, again to all the finalists of the Soka Monarch. Congratulations, right? Those who didn't make it, just continue working hard. You know, someone said you have a long journey ahead of you. Faith. Stop tweeting, girl. I love tweeting. <laughs> your body. I, I'm like, you everybody, love your tweet. Everybody is like, make up synergy. We love you guys. We Great ahead, Great ahead. I just like to say happy Carnival to everybody. Be safe on the road. Um, remember, as much as this is a time to enjoy yourself, everything in moderation. Be careful, be careful, be careful. You don't want to do anything now that you regret. Down the road, carnival will soon end and you want to be here after that. Um, don't drink and drive. My ladies, keep yourself up. Wrap it up, fellas. Um, everybody, I love you guys. All my fans. Oh, everybody. Faith, respect the manners. Faith. Every time yeah, man. Oh, gosh, boy. So good to have you guys back, man. Tyrell Celeste. It's been a minute. Just say goodnight to Tyrell Celeste. Yeah, Tyrell or Tyrell. Tyrell Celeste. Tyrell Celeste. Yes. On Facebook, he loves. Is that fella? I think so. Hey, all the best to you. To you. Yeah. And Jessica and Bungie Sex Real fans and everybody. Yes, man. Good conversation this evening, man. Yes. Yeah, man. It's been too long, guys. Yeah, man. It's been too long. So where's the food? Um... The cow now waking up. We'll, 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 we'll go do something. We'll go do something on the avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on, you're a cater, man. I'll fool it now. You tell Wendell. us wrap it up and we still have time? Which camera do I speak to to talk to Wendell? No, Wendell. I mean, we... we you, guys, you, you, you take us out. Take us out. Wendell Nyapol. Well, I just like...